the one I wrote. Not your traditional sort of love poem, love poem, but more of a tribute to the late great poet Charlie Bukowski. Let's go to a whole different place here. It's just called The Poet. And the epigram for this is the difference between light and art is that art is more bearable. Bukowski said that. In my fantasy, he signs his newest book to me. 150 pages of poetry about L.A., the bartender, and the current condition of his dick. <laughs> cool mornings, warm nights, flowers in light, the winter of his condescent. He was hoping for words that would take away our breath. Instead, they take away our appetite. <laughs> words that feel like mongrel hounds deathmatched over the carcass of a roadkill buck. This is still life with Tumblr, full of rock and rye, with just a hint of blood circling the glass and his lip from the last argument he lost in an alley with a harder, faster fist. Nobody can hate him as deftly as his own dark and earnest heart that within his chest, rattling, rails with each beat against the necessity of beating. He looks out from his crinkled skeleton for the slightly less cowardly exit, hoping for a bigger, nastier ape to grab the Odyssey jawbone, hold it high above the head of the pack, and bring it down with arc and flash to end the drunken disorder. For another round of well drinks and unwell thoughts. But alas, life continues apace, as do the booze, the broads, and the cigarettes. Days dawn, sun's set. Cars drag race down Mulholland, dodge down Figueroa, past third-rate roadhouses just like this, where the second-rate patrons sway to the ancient Rockola's 45s, slink out back, swing for the jaw of the first-rate poet. He knew he could get away with it. Boundaries <laughs> <laughs> are only there to be tested. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh boy. Uh, just remember that age and treachery always wins over youth and skill. Woo! <laughs> 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 Famous words of, uh, I think it was David Crosby said, You don't want to play mumbly peg with him, he'll steal your leg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to close with a, a longer piece. <clears throat> Many years ago, when someone I loved decided that she needed to be elsewhere. I guess this question comes up not just for me, but for a lot of people. When, when things, when the parting time comes for those who do, in fact, come to that, one or another of you mm. always looks at the other and goes, why? Not why did you leave, or why are you leaving, but why do you love me? I mean, that's just, it sort of hangs there in the air. You know, why do you love me? So I had to answer that. I'd like to thank you for indulging me this evening. I don't always dress like this. Really, I don't. It's <laughs> lying. I bet you have one in every color, too, that outfit. No. No? Did you notice the sign over your head? This Coke's Coke's. <laughs> That harkens back to an earlier poem covering irony. <laughs> but thank you for noticing. Why? Because it is fire and air, earth and water that paint determination in your eyes. The elements that make up life, that stand for life, reside in your heart. Because you laugh with the grace of willows, cry with the depth 
of oceans. Fight with the spirit of eternity for a world that is just. Because you are committed to the work you do, each moment mattering that someone benefit from your usefulness. Because you understand that which is only known to the mother, to bleed, to scream, to invoke the very creation of life for which you would move stone and sea. For all that is good in this world, and in worlds you have not yet seen, for the moments of tender holding that keep our hearts alive. Because you can't find it in yourself to be ordinary. Because the sun would wait for you to rise if only you would ask. Because goddess moves in your walk, in your voice, in such simplicities as an earring, a crystal hung around your neck. Because gods call and you answer. Because you can hear that call and choose to answer. Because when you open your heart there is room enough for all, space enough for love, depth enough for pain, strength enough for courage, wisdom enough for power. Because your face is striking, your mouth is haunting, your arms enfolding, your breasts fulfilling, because your sex tastes of spice and honeysuckle, like a flowing fountain from the one true source, Diana's tears mixed with Hecate's blood. Because you love with abandon and subtlety, writhing with tides, thrusting with desire and rage, touching with fervor and fear caressing with skill and deference, honoring yourself and another, playing the music of deities on the sole instrument of its playing until the blurred, damp moment of homecoming. Because you want to be loved with force and forgiving, submitted to and made to submit, stroked and struck in the name of love, in the spirit of love, always, Because there are a thousand individual moments when your essence shines like most precious sapphire when you are teaching without even knowing who is watching, learning, that you have shown your truth and it is a truth beyond question.